I am gonna cheat them like If back Sonic row. doesn't if Sonic plays really patiently and doesn't do laggy moves on shield, it can he can bring it back. Sonic, if he can get a hard read with his down smash on ledge or his forward smash, it's it's game over for Zero oh. Suit. She's really lying. Ooh, that down air. That can be a pretty good mix up. Yeah, there is that upper. Clean, clean upper. Good job to that guy. Winning game one. So, what do you think we're gonna see in game two? Um, listen, if he stays with Sonic, I'm thinking a more campy approach might be better, maybe more spin dash. Because, like you said, that neutral beam won't uh, beat out that spin dash. So, I think as bad as it is, you could probably spam that and get a little bit more of a down. I think Town and City would be a pretty good pick here for. Is that Sonic? a lower ceiling? Or? No, it has a higher ceiling. Higher ceiling. Okay. Um, ooh, Delfino, we're going for really low ceilings and a little bit of jank on that. All yeah. right, all right. Those stage transformations are super jank. This can go either way. This Oops. stage is good for both. Both can kill off the top uh, pretty early. Very easily. Yeah. Zero Suit can kind of catch recoveries with her upbeat on it if she spaces well and times it well. Um, I've seen a lot of drop through platforms and aerials. Oh, I'm still not grab. agreeing with that dash grab. See, I think that instinct would be a little bit better. Like when he's uh, tripped, like off of the tech yeah. or something, doing like a dash grab, I feel like that would be like, safe. It, it's also the, um, if you use the paralyzer, which is your neutral beat, ooh, I don't agree with that. Yeah, see, you can you can get that. It just is precision. Was that too far away for that idea, or could that have worked? Um, if Sonic had DI in the Zero Suit, it would have So it wasn't necessarily a DI read. It was just a bad catch combined with Sonic DIing away. Yeah, Sonic was there for a little bit too far. Just that tech took a little bit of extra damage for that. Even match here. Jab on shield, not too punishable. That's really quick and doesn't have that much lag. Good save options here. It's I want to see open. someone trying to kill uh, the other player like during one of these transformations. Like, it right. happens a lot. Um, ooh, nice down smash. Don't agree with the punish, but it was a good down smash. Like Sonic definitely wants that back here. Yes, definitely. Um, lots. Ooh, ooh. That upper right is a transformation, just a little too early. Ooh. Laggy moves on shield. Oh, oh, you have to hold that shield. Do you think that shield poke, or do you think he just let go? No, I don't think he let go. Oh, that went through shield. That oh, went through man, that's brutal. Like, that was too long, and that shield was not fresh enough. I think that's an even match shield. Yeah, zero, zero. This transformation is a little weird. Neither one can really kill at zero, though. You see about 40 to 50 more percent on this transformation. Neither one can kill off the side. Yeah. Sonic can go from farther away, though. Definitely with that. High, high ceiling on this, though. Ooh, never mind. That's that transformation. Coming to our aid. Now, something I think both players are negating, or, yeah, um, is this game, it's really easy to shark in. So. I don't know. Not the best for these characters, but Zero Suit can make a nice down beat through it. Ooh, that's exactly what I was talking kill. about. Beautiful, Do you remember what percentage that was? I did not that was at that. like 50 or 60. You need those early killers. Um, it's, it's about, this stage can be really good for Zero Suit. And you can, it's very opportunistic. Ooh, there's the up throw. Oh, that air dodge. Not that bad. If I'm not mistaken, that was also a bit of SDR downwards, too. You know? Sonic is... I don't know how Sonic can win this. Definitely... Can help her. Patience. Yeah, definitely And patience. not using laggy moves on shield, I think. Um, I feel like Sonic should be on the ground a little bit more, too. It seems like he's on the air a little bit more. Than I think he's doing that to avoid... The neutral B? Not the neutral B, but the, um, the dash attack and the tilt. Oh, okay. 
Um, yeah, Lucy's dash attack can be relatively safe. Um, okay, that was that was not quite the read he needed. Another dash, right? Mm. Something better than dash attack to punish if that happens again. And Sonic has. Okay. Aww. Oh. A little bit of mix up. Uh, that was I definitely hurts me. There's still, yeah, no. There's definitely still room for Sonic to come back to this, though. There's definitely. I feel like Sonic's definitely one of those comeback characters. You can, like, use your priority from spin dash and you just slow down. You have a lot of priority as Sonic. Yeah. It's a lot. Sonic is. You can camp so and time out. Bad. So, oh, that would have been beautiful. Just barely missing. That sweet spot is back here so far. Oh, it's. That kill so early. Oh, oh zero six dead. No question yeah. about it. All right, it's only a seventy percent deficit. Sonic can act a percent of the way. However, zero six Please kill. Oh, okay. uh, oh, he's dead. Oh, that stage transform saved him. When the stage transforms, it widens the blast zones a bit. Okay. So, because it's giving you time to get on the stage. Ooh, nice forward smash. That was a good read. Oh, now we're back to the jank a little bit. Here oh, we go. Oh, 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 so, oh close. so close. He had about 10 more percent on him if he did. That was beautiful. Sonic is definitely in this. Sonic definitely knows what he, he just has to play patient and be. Oh, seriously, it's up there. It's so good. That was a good match. That was very almost brought it back. Very close. That was back. extremely close. I had one back here. Two, two, oh, to that guy, the Zero Suit Samus player. Good set. Good match. Yeah. That's what Sonic wants to do though, they get like five and a half minutes, six minutes. Yeah, so oh yeah, yeah. Sonic can just draw matches out for a really long time. I've seen so many Sonic matches go to time. Oh yeah. It's most of the time's in their favor too. Oh yeah, because you can just spin dash around the map. It's set on a ledge. They can't approach you with the back throw. Especially pre-patch, so... Do we have our next match coming up? Uh, <laughs> Cyrus? Okay, we have a Kiri, I believe he said, and Cyrus. Cyrus. So Do you know who these characters are players? Um a Kiri plays Rosa. Mm -hmm. Can I bring up the chat and see what they say? And I do not know. I believe he plays Mario. I believe. I don't know how that matchup works. I would assume probably in Rosalina's favor. Um <laughs> Okay, I thought they were calling me. I was confused. I was like, whoa. Um, I mean, I'm, yeah, that's going to go in Rosalina's favor. Um, but matchups really only matter at highest level of play and when and when you're directly, like, evenly skilled. Um, at low level, matchups really don't come into play that much. It honestly depends. Very true. I don't know much about either of these players, so we'll see. Alright, a little bit of a mistake coming in on the player name. Yeah, see, there, there's that Rosalina. I believe we'll be seeing a Mario. I could be mistaken, I'm not sure. Oh no, Ooh, that's right, wow. Rob. Alright. Looks like no that's custom suits. No custom robs, we got face Rob. Um, this matchup goes in Rob's favor. This is a pretty good matchup. Um, you think it's in Rob's favor? Yes. Oh. Um, the gyro and laser um, just kill Luma off. Especially the patch, um, Luma's health got nerfed about like 6-7%. Mm, I think it was 53 to 47. Like yeah, it was like, it was like that. Um, and uh, the fully charged laser goes through things. Ooh, rolling the down smash. Already looking to see some early pressure. 
The only thing he has to worry about is that that can get pretty predictable pretty fast. It looks like that damage is a really good option against him as well. It has a good amount of set knockback in this game. I don't agree with the rules. It, it gets really predictable. Um, Luma is out though. Oh, never mind. There's that 13 seconds. Luma has, or Rosa has a really good dash attack. And, um, it has a good amount of knockback. And I definitely see annoying. what you mean by uh, Rob definitely being. Rob can get Luma out of the picture really, really fast. It looks like that down smash is uh, very, very effective. I think like he should. The better option here would be camp her out. Um. I mean, but I guess if it's working for him, it's working for him. Ooh, going for that back air. Nice jump out of it. Nice jump. Oh, Luna's back. Now the way it works is that um. Rosalina does all the damage, and Luma does all the knockback. So... So killing for Rosalina definitely needs Luma. Yeah. Um, there's a, that's really the big reason why um, Rosa players sit back and wait for uh, Luma to respawn. Because they lose a big amount of kills. Plus it's a lot of protection. That's a whole other hitbox to get through. Plus, it increases the range of uh, her jab as well. That yeah, very, you can very, very send it out with your neutral B and jab. And her jab is amazing. Like, really, really solid character all around. You can trap people in between uh, Rosalina and Luna with your jab too. Yes, uh, if you just hold it in. Um, it, if you're close enough um, and you've got a big hitbox, her box like Rob. That was a really good uh, up air from Rosalina. Mm -hmm. That up air is so strong. That was a pretty large hitbox as well. The only thing he has to be careful of is Luma extending that hitbox. Rob has some pretty big hitboxes, and if Luma gets stuck in those, she's just going to extend that and mess with Rosa. Uh, it looks like that damage smash is Big test against yeah. <laughs> there we go. Rosalina look kind of finding struggle to figure out how to play against this. Making Rosalina look like it's not the highest here. Ooh, nice, nice air dodge. Punch the gyro, throw it back. Ooh, are we gonna see the punch? Oh, that that had to have been a missed input. Yeah, I'm sure he probably won it. There's too many. Mm, probably wanted the up smash or forward smash. There's too many buffer frames in this game. It messes up a lot of players who put their inputs in quickly. And um, also players who are transferring over from other games. It's doubled from Brawl, and I believe it's 7 in PM or Melee. I don't play either of those games, so I'm not sure about that. I know it's 10 in Brawl and 20 in here, though. Yeah, it definitely makes a difference. Makes a big difference. Ooh, that down smash kill from across the stage. That 88% rage doing it for Rob. I was just about to say, uh, Rosalina with the fresh stop needs to take care of that one. Do you know if Luma's invincible um, during the same invincibility frames and respawn as uh, Luma? I do not know. I believe so. I'm not positive. Actually, I don't think Luma gets invincibility. Um, because Luma doesn't have a shield. I, I don't believe that works that way. Very unfortunate. Ooh, nice falling neutral air to dodge anything and throw out a nice big hitbox to kind of say stay away. Ooh, that down that down air is so, so strong. You can hit it on the stage. It just says, it's got so much knockback. Almost like a pretty even matchup. Yeah, uh, Rose has really brought it back. Ooh, that nice Z drop into down smash. It was good. If you um, drop an item with your grab button instead of like throwing it downward, you have no lag on that. But that's only on Diddy Kong and Rob. I think that uh, Ooh, that down smash needs to hold on tight to lose it. Ooh, ooh. That was that was a nice forward smash. Yeah, he's just fishing out of range. Trying to get Luma out of there. 
I think at this point Rosalina's kind of figured out the pattern. It's it's very systematic. 